guys, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about Ghosts of the Void. So, as per usual, this will have to be like a really short video because, again, I'm running out of time, I have to get to work, so yeah, I think maybe some of you will prefer these like shorter videos so i'm not too mad about them and yeah let's just get to it i just need to thank entertainment squad for sending this one to me because i was really looking forward to it and now let's get to the video so if you don't know what ghosts of the void is about is about Three masked strangers that target a homeless woman that is spending the night in her car. And that's basically it. It's like a really simple story that has a lot more to it. This movie stars a lot of like unknown actors. Like this, uh, this is basically their first proper role. Um, and yeah, some of them are Michael Reagan, Tedra Millen, Carter Shimp, and Nancy Wagner. I hope I'm pronouncing everyone's name right. But it's mainly like just the couple, to be honest. It's only two uh, people, a guy and a girl. And yeah, let's get to my thoughts. So I have to say this is a really good film. You don't even really feel like the small aspect, like the indie feel. There's no indie feel to this film. Like, everything is so well put together, in my opinion. And because this is like a small release and it's a simple story, I'm pretty sure this will be one of the most underrated horror movies of the year. Which, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, but if this ends up happening, it's a shame because it's a really good film. Like, as soon as it started, I knew I would love this because there's just, for once, the cinematography is beautiful. It's so beautiful. And that with the score and the soundtrack, the score is so unique and really stands out with those shots. So everything built an perfect atmosphere that created dread and fear and at the same time not only was beautiful to look at but it also had like some really like sweet moments in between like the most like dread dread inducing scenes like there was like a just position of of scenes like some really scary and some like really sweet and I, I thought that was like really really interesting in terms of story as I said it's a really simple straightforward one but what stands out and what makes this different is the social commentary there's like a really heavy commentary on wealth and the lack of it like it's really interesting what they do. Obviously, it's about a homeless woman. And, like, yeah, they talk or they, like, they don't really talk, but it's inferred. So you can see and you can think about what, like, being homeless, like, means and what could happen and like the differences between like those who have a lot of money and those who are struggling so i really like that and yeah as i said on a technical level like cinematography and the score and acting is really good i really liked the main couple like not only they were really good on their own but they had like really good chemistry so everything, the whole thing was really believable. And I guess the only thing that kind of didn't work for me was like the pacing because it takes a long, long time to get to the action. So 
the movie is really short, it's one hour and a half, and only by the hour, like only after an hour, the like real action happens. Uh, up until that point, it's just like really creepy things happening, like things in the background and just hints, which I liked, but I wanted more, more. I wanted more and I wanted it to happen a bit quickly. Apart from that, I think it's a really, really good film that you should definitely check out. Even more if you liked The Strangers. I feel like this is really close to The Strangers, but everything happens in a car and in like a parking space, like in a park. So yeah, it, basically the whole thing takes place in a car. And it has a social commentary, which I don't know, I don't think The Stranger has. So it's basically The Strangers in a car with social commentary. So if you feel like this is your type of thing, if you like The Strangers, I highly recommend it. And post that, let's get to my scores. So overall, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. I think it's a really solid film. The only like thing that I didn't enjoy was how long it takes to, to get to the action and to get somewhere. Uh, apart from that, it's a really, really beautiful film. In terms of that, like cinematography, I give it a 4 out of 5. Again, loved it. And originality, I give it a 3 out of 5 because I don't think the situation is super, super original, as I said, similar to The Strangers, but like the like social commentary and the homeless aspect and what they do with the story is really interesting and original. And guys, so these are my thoughts on Ghosts of the Void. As I said, I really enjoyed it. I think it's, a, it's going to be really underrated, so... If you liked The Strangers, if you like social commentary in your movies, that it's not super in your face, but yeah, there's a lot to think about. And yeah, it's also like a really short film, so it's perfect for when you don't really have a lot of time or you're just tired, you want something quick. Um, yeah, I think this is a really good film. And... If I'm not mistaken, this comes out today on VOD. So if you end up watching it, let me know in the comments what you thought. Let me know uh, if you haven't seen it yet, if you're thinking about watching it, if it's on your what to watch list. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!